Hello, welcome to Scrap Time, episode 968. My name is Christina, and on today's episode, I'm showing you the Spellbinder Celebration Collection. Today, I am showing you the Spellbinders Celebrations Collection, and this is brand new for Spellbinders. They have come out with cardstock, they have patterned paper, and then they have dies and some stamps to go with the whole collection. And so we're going to be stamping on the background. We're going to be making these little flowers. We're going to be embossing our tags and then cutting out this cute little circle here. Now I want to show you one thing I like about their cardstock is that I bought a collection set or I was given a collection set and you get a light and a dark of all the colors, which makes really great for layering up your papers. The other thing I found was some of the paper was smooth and some of the cardstock had texture to it. So it's sort of a mixed pack. Now, if you didn't want the mixed pack, you can also just buy each of the colors individually. So let me show you a few of the products before we get started. Here we have some of the card stocks, and I just want to show you again how it's the light and darks of some of the colors. Then here we have the paper pack, and you can see here the different patterns they have. They're double-sided papers, and I've used on the cards, I use strips from the strip piece here for... Um, these little strips down the side. They have also come out with ink to coordinate with all of their papers. So I have a few colors here and black. So I am going to start making the card and then show you some products as we go along. So I am going to make a blue card. And so they have stamps. This is the doily fun stamp. And what I also love is the packaging because you open it up and it's a pocket. So you can keep all your products stored in these packages. The stamps are clear. And so I'm going to do a blue on blue stamped image. So for this one, I'm not going to use a block. You could, of course, use a block. I'm just going to use my fingers. If you use a block, it would probably give you a better stamped image. But for now, I'm just going to continue like this. You could even take your lid. I'm going to stamp it one more time. And then I'm just going to stamp a little in the corner here. And a little up above. So by having the ink and the paper all coordinate, it allows you to get these really nice tone-on-tone -tone backgrounds. So I'm going to put the doily aside. And now I am going to work on my tag. So in the tag, you get two outlines and two embossed middles. So you have two of the outlines and two of the embossed. I'm going to do a little dot. And so what I'm going to do is put the dot on my paper and I'm just going to put a little piece Tape. Oh, it went down there. G 
just to sort of hold it in place. I am using the Artisan Explorer and so I have my base plate and then pick up my thing here and then we put it like that then we put our mat and our embossing plate we get our Artisan Explorer and run it through. And now we have the dots on our tag. So what I can do is take that blue and just lightly run it across to highlight all my little dots. Like that. So then I have the flowers. You get two dies, they're little rosette blooms, and they cut out two shapes like this. And then you have, there's little score lines. So you just want to score it back and forth to give it dimension. And then you can just sort of fold them up. And now you have more of a dimensional flower versus just a flat flower. And I've done the other one already. And I'm just going to put a little dot of glue there. And then that will just sit into it. So we have our little dimensional flower. So one last thing I want for my card is they have these pierced circle templates. And you get a few sizes. I'm going to go with the smallest size. And I have my base plate. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my die and then the little holes. And just sort of eyeball lining it up. Put my paper over. And then my cutting plate. And cut that out. And now we have a little circle with a nice little outline of the holes. So on my circle, I want to stamp a greeting. And so here is a stamp set they have, many words. And you can have a whole bunch of things. Some are great for cards. Some you can even add um, into uh, your project life type projects. So I'm going to do thank you, it's nice and small. This time I'm going to use a stamping block. And I'm going to use the berry black ink. And 
and then just stamp it down here. Okay, so now I'm ready to put together my card. I have a strip that I had cut from that piece of paper that had the strips. And I'm using orange uh, because orange and blue are complementary colors, so they look nice together. So we put that down and then just cut off the excess. And I'm going to tape my tag down. And then I'm going to tape my circle down, something like that. So then my flower will go about there. to take a little rhinestone and glue it in the middle. And then I'm going to take a few sequins. take my crystal katana that I showed in you in a previous episode and add a couple little crystals on or sequins on and then one other product I want to show you let me just put away my glue, is they have these silk lusters. Um, I have the blue and green and you shake it up. And this is only if you want to add, you don't have to add this on and you can use it for something else, but it's like a nail polish. It has a little nail polish brush. And then you could just tap it on to get a few little splatters and it has a nice sheen to it and um, you could always just paint this on in places too but just by adding a couple little splatters just tops off your product project and there we have my completed card using a huge variety of products from the Spellbinder celebrations collection well, that's it for today's episode. Be sure to check out our website at www.scraptime.ca. And on our next episode, I'm showing you my latest step-by-step -step art journaling iBooks. So please join us. Thanks for watching Scrap Time.